is cosy. I hope Ben has found somewhere nice to sleep as well. Calling all elves! Stop making toys! We need a giant sleeping bag! Right Who is this enormous sleeping bag for? Ben Elf. He's a giant person now. Oh, they grow up so fast these days. Ben, grab hold of this and pull! Wow, a giant sleeping bag. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Our pleasure. Elves are good at making giant sleeping bags. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. When you're so big. Now sleep well. Good night. Good night. It is fun being big. I can't wait till morning. Princess Holly, time to get up. Oh, where are you? I'm here. The spell must have worn off. And now I'm little again. Oh, never mind, Holly. Big is overrated, in my opinion. I'm going to see if Ben has shrunk too. Ben, where are you? I'm here. The spell wore off in the night. Oh. Now we're little again. Well, at least you'll be able to have breakfast. Yes, breakfast. breakfast. Thanks, Mum. Mmm. I didn't realise how hungry I was. <laughs> oh, no! The marigolds are here! Hello, darling sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I say. It isn't quite how we expected it to be. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, not finished yet. It's incredible. Amazing. We went for high ceilings. You went for no ceilings at all. And look at the toilet. Yes, completely open plan. It's so adventurous. Well, it was all mostly my idea. King, this your old boy. You're a born architect. Have you considered teaching architecture? Oh, I don't know. We must do this with our castle. Come on, darling. No time to lose. Sorry, we can't stay. Bye. 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 Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Only because the marigolds are completely bonkers. <laughs> I want my home back. Nanny, magic the castle back, please. OK, but it'll have to be a very big spell. Thunder and lightning! Blow, wind, blow! Back as it was! That's better. My home is back. It's just how it was before. It's better than it was before. How? All that magic I used has also fixed the tap. Oh, well done, Nanny. I have to say, I'm impressed. Not one drip. Let's turn it on. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear! This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big, bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean, ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, 
I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. Oh. 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 And what is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh. 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 Well done, Gaston. They found us. <laughs> Hey there, Mr. Gnome! Look down here! I'm a pie! Oh, a pie! Oh, this is going to be a long afternoon. Where on earth can they be? It's been ages. And we can't start the harvest dance without them. Well, it looks like we can't have a dance then. Aww. <laughs> Here we are with a fruit harvest. Blackberries. What happened to the strawberries? The gnome ate them. The gnome? Oh, no. What about the apples? The gnome ate them, too. Well, I'd like to give this gnome a talking to. You can if you like. He's here. Hello. Yeah. What's he doing here? He helped pick the blackberries for us. So we invited him to the dance. Oh. He ate 2,000 blackberries. But we got ten for us. Uh, nine. I ate one on the way here. Sorry. Anyway, there's still enough for a big pie. Excellent. Then let the harvest dance commence. Hooray! <laughs> This is a bit boring. <gasps> Let's get this party started. Take your partners, please. Swing to the left. Step to the right. Wiggle your hips. Spin around and get a bit dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Witch! Mrs. Witch! Oh, hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs. Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. Can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? What? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm. This is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs. Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs. Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. Thank you, Elf Boy. Oh, Elf Man. We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. Mwahaha! The whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? 
giant palace of ice. This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, elf boy? Elf man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> That's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. <laughs> Look, Broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old ones never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. Wandy! Hooray! I'm so glad to see you. Now, let's get down from this tower. Yes, indeed. You. I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But you... a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes. I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. You're my best friend. <laughs> We're just on a nature trail. Oh, yes. What have you seen on this nature trail? We've seen toadstools. And insects. And tadpoles. Toadstools, insects, tadpoles. But there's loads more stuff. Really? There's the elves and the fairies. The what? That blabbermouth is giving everything away. How can we stop him? I know. Come on, Gaston. Yes, the elves live in a tree. An oak tree? Yes, it's got tiny windows in it. I thought I saw a castle. You saw it all right, because it's there. The posh fairies live in a little castle. Made of tiny bricks, it is. Is there a witch? Of course. She's called Mrs Witch. And do fairies live in these toadstools? Yes. This is a secret fairy village. Shush! Hey, what's that? Mr Gnome, big people must never know about the little kingdom. Oh, yes, of course. Leave this to me. Now then, you know how I was talking about toadstools, insects and tadpoles? Yes! Right. Everything I talked about after that, forget it. Forget it? Yes. And there's no magic dwarves, dragons or goblins in these woods neither. OK. Come on, class. Let's go home. Bye! Good boy. I think we just about got away with it. Bye, everyone. Bye, Lucy. <whistles> no, Gaston. Out. Out. <whistles> What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? <whistles> <gasps> then there's no time to lose. Lead the way, Gaston. 
Hello? Nanny Plum! Thank goodness you're here! We're trapped! Hang on! I'll just magic the door open! <laughs> oh! It doesn't work! No! Because the door is sealed with dwarf magic! You have to answer a question! What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <whistles> oh. <sighs> this will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Thank you, Gaston. Oh, Gaston, you're wonderful. Oh, good boy, Gaston. So, can Gaston come to the little castle now? Yes. And to our house too? Yes. yes. I'll even make him a pie. Now forwards again, and when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! 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 <gasps> Whew. Oh, bring the rock back here. Now, I want you to magic this rock into something else. A frog? No. I can do frogs. An egg. What do you want an egg for? Oh, just do it, please. All right. Keep your hair on. <laughs> I said an egg, not a chicken. Ah! There, one egg. Did I pass? The practical test is over, but you still have to answer one question. How would you help a tadpole become a grown-up? Uh, to help a tadpole become a grown-up? Um, uh... Nanny, what's your favourite spell? Turn them into a frog? Correct. I knew it! The test is over and it's bad news. Did I fail? It's worse than that. You passed. Hooray! You may now do magic again. Did you hear that one? We're back in business. Oh, dear. Magic always leads to trouble. No, it doesn't. Show me one piece of sensible magic. OK. There's one piece of magic I've been wanting to do all day. What's that? Turn you into a frog. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Here's my licence. Oh, dear. And so, Squire Trevelyan turned out to be nice after all, and I married him. The end. My goodness! That was a surprise ending. Land ahoy! We're home! Yes, but that means we're near to Big Bad Barry. Stop worrying, Mr Elf. Barry might not turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Oh, he's been waiting for us all this time. How sweet. He's going to eat Bunty 3. Yum, yum. Ah! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Don't worry, everyone. Whatever happens, I will take full responsibility. That makes everything all right, then. My boat is gone. Gone into Barry's tummy. Curse you, Big Bad Barry. You'll never eat another boat of mine. Never, never, because I'm not going to build a boat ever again. I think you've upset Barry, Mr Elf. Look at his sad little face. <laughs> he is crying. I've never seen a fish cry. You shouldn't be so unkind to Barry. What? Yes, Barry doesn't mean any harm. Doesn't mean any harm? Mr Elf, as your king, I command you to build another boat. 
for Barry. Aye? What sort of boat would you like, Barry? A sailing boat? Yum, yum. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here, how are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries, we'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Oh, OK. I'll magic the rope to the top. Ooh. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Wise old elf, aren't you climbing up? I am not climbing up a magic rope. See yourself. You can live down there forever. OK, OK. I'll climb up the magic rope. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. What are you doing here? I came as quick as I could when I heard Susan was in trouble. Susan? Who's Susan? Susan the Ladybug. <coughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Gaston. <coughs> and I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs! I asked myself, why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten? Or twenty-three? Oh, that's enough, dear. They don't care about your silly old hobbies. Yes, I'm forgetting myself. It's your party, darling, and I've arranged a fantastic surprise. What's the surprise? I dread to think. To the top of the tower! <laughs> Granny Thistle loves looking at the stars. Oh, yes. Stars are very pretty. So I asked myself, why do we have to look at the stars from down here? Why not up there in the sky? <laughs> into a rocket. Aren't the stars beautiful, Granny? They certainly are, darling. Very nice. Uh, Dad, how do you land this thing? No idea, son. This is magic. I don't have to know what I'm doing. I may not know much about magic, but I do know how to land a rocket. We're back home. And we survived the party. Thank you for landing the rocket, Cedric. My pleasure, Millicent. <whistles> All right, boys, tea break. Tea break. Okay, okay boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. <laughs> Quickly now, dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come! Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why? How thoughtful of you. 
And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. <sighs> me too, boss. <sighs> <sighs> I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. <gasps> Time for the cake. Keep still. Pretend to be toys. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy. <laughs> now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Ah! Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes. Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right. Out you come. All of you. I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Happy birthday, Gaston. Here's your present. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. King Thistle, King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. It's all right. He's with us. What's going on? Where's my birthday party? You said you didn't want a party. I know I said that, but what I really meant was I do want a party. Oh, Daddy. You are silly. Yes, I know. Oh, well, I'm sure Gaston won't mind sharing his party with you. <laughs> Gaston, be nice and share your present with King Thistle. <laughs> Gaston, that's not how to behave on your birthday. <laughs> For me? How kind. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> yes, for you to chase. And now it's time for the birthday song. He's round and he's red with big black spots. How dare they? It's about Gaston, Daddy. He rolls on his back and he barks a lot. He's Gaston the ladybird. That was really fun. Maybe birthday parties aren't that bad. What's that noise? Happy birthday! Oh! Hooray! Danny, why are there still bangs going on in the other rooms? Well, it was going to happen at some point anyway, so I thought I'd save a bit of time and just turn the whole lot of them into frogs. All the big people in the museum? You've turned them all into frogs? That's right. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, what happened? Where am I? It's the museum man. He's turned back to himself again. Yes, and he's confused and a little bit annoyed. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! All the Vikings are turning back too. Right. I think 
this is as good a time as any to leave. Let's get out of here. Ah! Hold up, hold. Keep together, children. Back on the bus. Next stop, the Little Kingdom. Last stop. Everybody off. Oh. Well, all in all, that didn't go too badly. We survived and the museum wasn't destroyed. <laughs> Good girl. You see, all you have to do is trust the little darlings and they will repay your trust. She's really in a world of her own. She never learns. And next time, I thought we could visit a... Next time? Yes, we'll visit a big castle. You know, I've always wanted to live in the times of knights in armor. Abracadabra! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Let's bring her back. Abracadabra. On second thoughts, I never want to live in the time of knights in armor. I think the safest, nicest time is right here and now. <laughs> Oceana! We brought your mirror back! Oh, thank you so much! But why is it so tiny? We had to shrink it down to fit in the submarine. Don't worry, the spell will wear off soon and it'll grow big again. <laughs> there you go. My mirror! Thank you all so much. You're very welcome. Well, it's been uh, very interesting meeting you uh, mermaids, but we must be getting back now. Bye, Oceana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Betty. Um, you know how the mirror suddenly got big again? Well, that happened to me and my dad. Yep. And the fun bit is, you don't know when. Which means we should get a move on. We don't want them to grow big in the submarine. Ooh, I'm growing! Yeah, so am I. We must get to land. Full speed ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Try not to roll too much. <laughs> to panic. We had plenty of time. What an adventure! Yes, it was quite amazing. Remember, Lucy's dad, the little kingdom is meant to be secret. You must not tell any of your friends what you saw today. Tell my friends what I saw today? Let me think about that. And then the magical fairies shrank me down to the size of my thumb. I saw singing mermaids and did I tell you that I now have a fish for a brother? Oh, all right, cowboys. Let's round up the chickens. Come back, chickens! Chickens, come back! Nanny, remember, no sudden loud noises. We don't want a chicken stampede. All right. You aren't exactly quiet yourself. Ha! Elves are good at being quiet. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> Whoops! Chickens are stampeding! We'll head them off at the pass! Head them off at the pass? What does that mean? No idea, but they say it in all the cowboy films. The chickens are heading straight for the fairy village! Yeah, chicken stampede! Which way did the chickens go? They went that away. Yes, that's what they say in cowboy films as well. They went that away. Ah, oh, it's so lovely to wake up to the song of a little bird. <laughs> Good grief! What are those chickens doing here? You said you wanted a chicken, Daddy. I didn't expect you to take me seriously. You're the king. Of course we take you seriously. What are they doing to my flower garden? Eating it, Your Majesty. If you are going to keep chickens, you have to say goodbye to flower gardens. But you can have eggs for breakfast every day. <laughs> 
It was years ago. Yes, there was you and Naughty Prince Thistle. King Thistle now. Nanny Plum, we must never talk to big grown-ups. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello, Sally. Did you know the wise old elf when he was very young? No, he's always been old. And wise. <laughs> You haven't changed a bit. Oh, thank you. So, it's the little kingdom where Dad's putting the cows. Yes! yes. Then we must stop him. Come on, everyone. Stop, stop. What? We have to find somewhere else to put the cows. Uh, why? Because, um, because the grass here is a bit, um, dry and, uh... And the ground is, uh... Too muddy. There must be a better place to put the cows. No, this is the perfect place. The plan's not working. Uh, who said that? Now, what do we do? Is it frog time? No, Nanny. What? Frog time. Ah, don't let the farmer know we're here. OK, Clever Clogs, what's your plan then? Um, hello. We'll be with you in a moment. Now, Nanny Plum, as I was saying... Um, who are you all? Hello, Mr Farmer. We're elves and fairies. And we live here, in the meadow. Elves and fairies living in the meadow? Yes! So, we can't put the cows here, darling. Well, of course not. I don't want to knock anyone's house down. Hooray! And one more thing, Dad. You must not tell any of your friends that you've seen elves and fairies. Mm, don't worry. There is no way that I will tell any of my friends that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you, Dad. Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say... Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Oh! oh! It worked! Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha! I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Thank goodness you finally come to rescue me. Well, we sort of need rescuing ourselves, actually. Oh. If only Mummy was here. Yes. The Queen could magic us home. But the Queen is here. I saw her this morning. Hooray! But she was carried off by one of those pterodactyle things. <coughs> leaving just her wand and her cell phone. Mrs Fotheringill, do you know where the pterodactyls live? They live on Scary Mountain. I could take you there if you want. All right. Come on, children. Hold hands. Stay together. Mrs. Fotheringill, why is it called Scary Mountain? Oh, I see. <coughs> Look, the Queen! Hello, everyone. Mummy, are you all right? Yes, but I'm trapped. 
it won't lift up its foot. I'll climb up and tickle the pterodactyl. Elves are good at tickling pterodactyls, and I'm an elf. Careful, Ben. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Hooray! Here's your wand, Mummy. Thank you, everyone. Now, I think we all better get back home. Hooray! We're back! My shoes! And my panties! Oh, hello! Hello, everyone. I was getting a tiny bit worried. I think it's all gone very well for the first day. And the good news is we've found Mrs Fotheringill. Hello! Welcome back, Mrs Fotheringill. I expect you'd like a little rest. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. It looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr Elf, please bring out our boat. right -o. Oh! What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! Well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Hello, everyone. Have you finished my boat? Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, what's that? Your boat. So, I told you to make me a boat that wouldn't be laughed at. And this is what you made? Yes, Your Majesty. Whose idea was the hippo head? That was my idea. I thought of the flames. And the legs? Uh, my idea, Your Majesty. I thought of the chicken wings. I am going to be a complete laughing stock. I can't wait to see what King Thistle's boat looks like. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Hello. Is that your boat, King Thistle? Uh, yes. Why? It's... I know, I know. It's the most amazing boat we've ever seen. It's fantastic. Well. <whistles> One gold coin. I earned it all myself. Oh, well done. Done, darling. We just chuck it in the magic money chest. It's doing the popcorn thing. It's full of gold coins. <laughs> We're rich again. Hooray! Well done, Daddy. You worked so hard today. It was fun. Well, I'm off. Don't want to be late. Where are you going, Daddy? Back to work. I've decided to work evenings. But we have the money, Daddy. There's more to work than money, Holly. The elves need me. Your Majesty, we need you. You see? We want you to be the king again. But kings don't work. I want to be useful. But kings are useful. We needed a king to launch the elf ship. That's true. You launched the elf ship, Daddy. Even though you sort of sank it as well. We couldn't make our toys if a king didn't inspect them. And most importantly, a king has to start our harvest dance. I see. Well, in that case, start the harvest dance. Hooray! Um... Should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. <laughs> Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes. Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes. He can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. Good 
boy, Gaston. Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah! He's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um... Here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf. <laughs> oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. You must promise not to tell any of your friends that you've been seeing elves and fairies. No, I promise I won't tell anyone, any of my friends, that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you so much. Bye! Can I have my ladybird back? Your ladybird? OK. <laughs> By the way, he's a boy and he loves spaghetti bolognese, don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Bye! Now I've seen everything. Cheerio! Hi, Dad! Hi, Lucy. Good day. <laughs> Great! So what did you do at school today? Uh, well... Bye, Lucy. Can we have our wands back? Of course. See you again soon. Cheerio, Lucy's dad. Uh, cheerio. You'll never in a million years guess what I saw today. An elf in a helicopter. Don't tell me. You've seen them too. Um, yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves, eh? Yeah, good idea. I think we got away with that. <laughs> Marvellous. Uh... Let's get going, then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow! A grown-up dragon is ginormous! Right, then. Home time! But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <coughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. <coughs> Fast seatbelts and off we go! Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Oh! Oh, it's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> OK, you are Nanny Plum. Oof, that's better. Uh, Nanny... Can you turn me back too, please? OK. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> you promised you'd only make one doll, and you've made thousands. But, Nanny, 
It's an honor to have a toy that looks like you. Oh, is it? Well, let's see how you like it. I'm a grumpy old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. If you're quite finished. Nearly. I'm a grumpy old elf. I'm a grumpy old elf. I'm a grumpy old elf. Now I'm finished. Oh, dear. How undignified. What are we going to do with all these? Well, Daisy and Poppy like them. Look. Elfie, Elfie. <laughs> you know, I think fairies are rather last year. This year, elf dollies will be the thing. I'm old and wise with twinkly eyes. Hmm, you are a handsome little fellow. I can see why the children like you. And you've got lots of them now. Yes, thousands. Hooray! Elves like tooting their horns. And we're elves. Oh, no! Cover your ears. <laughs> <laughs> now, all you have to do is untangle me and we can get away from this dangerous jungle. Oh, this isn't a jungle and there is no danger. Whoa! Hang on! Hold tight! Hello, I'm a customer and I would like to buy this plant. Find everything you're looking for today? Yes, thank you. Do the toys come free with the plant? Uh, oh, I suppose so. One pot plant with toys. And one magic goblin. I am not magic! One talking magic goblin. Oh, no barcodes. I put it through as compost. Oh, thank you. Magic goblin? Compost? How dare she? We've got to get free! Come on! Everyone into the airship! That's it! Let's go! Anchors away! <laughs> uh, hello, Mrs. Customer. Hello? Don't tell anyone you've been seeing elves and fairies. No. Oh. Up, up <laughs> and away! Ha <laughs> ha wise old elf! Looks like I'm rescuing you from the jungle. From the garden centre, you mean? Ah, my sweet sugar plum. I brought you a present from my adventures. A tomato? Is it a tomato? Or is it a mysterious red berry from the darkest depths of the lost city? Use your imagination. It's a tomato. Thank you. I will now start the engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say elf skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, aliens. Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please. <laughs> Whee! Dear Lucy, everyone knows aliens don't exist. Ben and Holly, the aliens have to fly back to their planet. They just wanted to say hello to your parents. Hello, big people. We have just been here on our holidays. Um, hello? We go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. I think we'll have picnics somewhere else in future. Redbeard, this is my treasure, not yours. 
How did you find me? We just followed the rainbow. Ah, rainbows. They're a pirate's worst enemy. No, they're not. Rainbows are a pirate's best friend. Depends whether you're burying treasure or finding it. Good point. So, anyway, don't let us stop you, Captain Squid. You get back to burying your treasure. Thank you kindly, Redbeard. I was just about to bury it here. Hang on. You can't trick me that easily. No one must see where I bury my treasure. You've all got to close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. So, where did you bury it? Why, it's right over there. Ha <laughs> ha! You're trying to trick me again. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. The rainbow is moving. It's gone to the treasure. Ah, blasted rainbows. Don't worry, Captain Squid. We won't dig it up, will we, Redbeard? No, of course not. Is it home time yet? Yes, I think it is. Today's adventure is over. And I'd be honoured to take you all home on my yacht. That sounds a nice way to travel. Yacht? That's a rowing boat. Plenty of room if we all squeeze up. <laughs> Where can I sit? Wait a minute. Are you a woman? Yes. Oh, bad luck having a woman on board. It's all right. Turns out it's bad luck for the woman, not for us. Oh, in that case, welcome aboard, me lovely. <laughs> So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. <laughs> Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo. Awoo. Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety? Or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I, I set off in, in a bit of a hurry, and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to. But he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit twoo. Well, you should thank Mr Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho, oh, oh. ho. And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank, thank you, Old Grey Wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the Fox Cubs' hour of need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Who is it? Gaston, of course. <laughs> Aha, Jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. <laughs> oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, oh, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout, magic jelly, more, more, more? Whoops! Jelly flood! Somebody answer the phone. I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. Uh, I, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. Elf Rescue a go. Launch everything. Elf Rocket A OK. Elf Plane. Okay. Elf helicopter, A OK. Hooray! 
thank goodness you're here, Elf Rescue. A jelly flood isn't a job for Elf Rescue. It's a job for Nanny Plum. Magic time! Thank you, Nanny. Being you for a day wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy being you either. Ah, oh, I'm Nanny Plum again. And I'm the wise old elf. Good. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Hooray!